Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2006 Mercedes-Benz S500 Long. It was sold new in Australia. It's not a personal import. It's obsidian black with cream leather interior. It's done to 69,000 kilometres since it was brand new. That's got the very nice looking AMG five spoke wheels. It's in beautiful condition. It's got some great options. It's got a wood grain steering wheel, night vision, memory, electric seats, heated seats, air conditioned seats. That's what I believe Mercedes called passion leather, which is the perforated soft leather. It's Bluetooth compatible. It's got a reverse camera. And I think it's incredible value for money when you consider most of these S500s have done well over 150,000 kilometres. It's got soft closed doors, which works perfectly. And it also has factory rear entertainment. It's got electric seats in the back, as well as blinds. So that's for your rear DVD. You also have controls in the back, yet this isn't fixed, it's just an armrest. So it is a proper five seater car and it even has dual sunroofs. There's a lot of S350s, but there weren't a lot of S500s sold in sort of 2006 to 2008. It's got the original plates on it from when it was new and it has a very good service history with every service being done at Mercedes-Benz. It's got an electric boot. So at the click of a button, it closes away. The 221, which is this series, 500 has the 5.5 litre 290 kilowatt engine coupled with the seven speed gearbox. Here's your switches for the rear seat. If you can't get comfortable in the back of one of these, you won't get comfortable in anything. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's being garaged. And if you look at a, say a Mercedes or not a Mercedes, a Maybach for that matter. There's a lot of similarities in the 221, even when you look at the back of the car. You've got memory electric seats, heated seats, air conditioned seats on the passenger side as well. You can even control the passenger seat from the driver's side. The S500 really is a very special car, whether it be a 560 SEL, a 500 SEL, W140 series, an S500 220 series, or this 221 S500 series. Generally the bigger V8 is the pick of them. The V12s are absolutely beautiful, but for a lot of people it's a bit too much car. The V8 is reliable, very economical for a car of this size. And on the freeway, I think you can get it down to seven to eight litres per 100 kilometres around town. That really depends on how you drive it. So you've got your switch here for night vision, electric folding mirrors, Harman Kardon sound system. We'll start it up. Obviously at the click of a button you can make the suspension go up and down. There's your reverse camera. You can even adjust your seats. And instead if you press this button here, you can even control your passenger seat. But the attention to detail is remarkable. If we look at the audio, yeah, it's got MP3, audio DVD, which is fantastic. You look at the vehicle settings. 
There's a whole range of different settings. You can adjust the amber lights underneath. You can limit the boot so that if you reverse, you reverse into a car park and there's something behind you or above the rear of the car, you can limit it. Rear blind, you can that's retracted at the moment. You can delay the interior lights. The ambient lights on five, you can adjust that obviously. Easy um, exit and entry feature. And the list goes on. I'll just put the night vision on. It should work in this light. Yep. Now they really are incredible cars. I love the wood grain steering wheel. It's got a leather dash. Soft leather steering wheel. And look, really it's a car I could talk about for the next 20 minutes. But unfortunately I, I don't have the time. But what I can tell you is that if you are looking for a Mercedes-Benz S500, this would have to be the best car available at the present time from this era. It's just come in. We've just given it a quick wash. It hasn't even been detailed. And you can see the condition of the car. It's got two remote keys, great history as I mentioned earlier. We'll have a quick look under the bonnet. Xenon headlights were standard. Okay. I said it hasn't been washed or anything. You can see it's nice and clean in the engine bay. One option which I thought this might have is the Distronic at the front here which actually slows down the car automatically when you're on cruise control and uh, basically adjust to the speed of the vehicle in front of you. But it's a very impressive car. I certainly don't think it's going to last long in this condition, colour and such low kilometres. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And uh, we certainly look forward to hearing from you soon.